happy, happy, happy Sunday. Sunday, June, June something. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the 13th or 14th. Probably the 15th. I'm not 100% sure, but it definitely is Sunday. And so we are heading to run errands and then also to church. We've actually been down in the city for a while. Um, but church starts at 7.30. There's actually lots of different services, but we're going to the one at 7.30 because, like I told you, we were trying to run different errands to do different things today before church. Um, but I'm starting the vlog earlier this week because normally I would start vlogging on Tuesday, uh, but I'm starting it on Sunday. And that is because we are going to visit my in-laws this weekend. We're actually leaving on late, well, I guess we can call it really really early Wednesday morning and we are going to spend Father's Day with my husband's father over this weekend which is Father's Day weekend and then next week we have plans to do something with my dad so that'll be really and really, really fun. I'm super excited about something that happened yesterday and so if you are following the vlogs every week then I think things progress in a very interesting manner so that you'll be able to see if I did something last week and decided to change my mind, with this week. I don't know. But the point is, something very exciting happened yesterday. And if you watched last week's vlog, then you'll understand why I am so excited about this. So, right, take a look. Said, I'm popping in really quickly and I am super excited on this Saturday. Because normally I would start the next weekly vlog on like Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Because I just added, I just ended the other one on Friday. But I have something to show you. And so, look. I am totally excited. Do you see those plants like we're actually growing something now we're also growing creatures so that's a big ant and I don't know what that is over there but it's okay we are and this is the cucumber container so I first did this on Tuesday and today is Saturday and we already have some little plants and I'm just waiting for something to bud over here in tomato land and so this is the very next day and they've definitely grown and now I can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see two more coming here and the tomato one is still there. Uh, let me tell you, I almost did the Jesus dance. When I saw the little plants pop up, I was so, 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 so surprised. So surprised. But I'm definitely happy that I am officially growing cucumbers on my phone. So Baby Zaraz is having a big seal this weekend so of course I had to just stop in. I'm not gonna go crazy. I just want to look and see what is potentially on sale and maybe pick up a thing or two. So we're going to check that out and I'm not, I'm not, I really am not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna look at the cute items and maybe buy a few things. The joys of children's clothes. I'm actually in the, um, the newborn section and so all of their koala baby things are six dollars and then all of their carter's outfits are 40 percent off and then i guess the organic version of koala bear is 35 percent off and then lots and lots of clearance picked up some stuff nothing too crazy so we are in home depot to pick up some stuff and then we'll be back so you put your a pic oh no i didn't take a picture <laughs> We were, we were trying to figure out something, um, but yeah. So we decided on Outback before church. They were saying hello. <laughs> so we're gonna eat, you know what time it is, man? Absolutely not. Uh, six o'clock. Oh, okay, that's good time. So six o'clock. So we're gonna eat, and hopefully be done in, in, in four five minutes, an hour. Then head to church. Bread. One of our Outback favorites, their seared ahi tuna. Delicious. Salad that goes with my meal, side of the Alright, so it's the Outback Burger. It's got um, provolone, cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, and yeah, that's it. It's video. <laughs> and I got the Porterhouse Pork Chop well done with the garlic mashed potatoes and the salad. Musical 
a train station because everyone is always trying to make a dollar in the train station and there's some good things and then there's some not so good things yeah, let me know what you think and battling depression and praying for sobriety and for a marriage and all different types of things i believe that our god is stronger i believe that our god is able to heal and to transform thank God right now that he's going to begin to do that even as we begin to pray for one another. So if you would just stretch out your hands and begin to pray for the people on your left and on your right. We are a church family. We pray for one another. Good morning, ladies. And happy, happy, happy Monday. And it's, it's June 15th. Yesterday, I couldn't remember what the date was. But today is Monday, June 15th. And I am excited and happy to be here. <laughs> so church was wonderful. Like absolutely wonderful and marvelous. I loved and enjoyed it per usual. Uh, the title of the service was One Life Is Not Fair. And so I absolutely could, you know really get down with that type of service because it just talks about life not being fair when life is not fair how people feel about their relationship with god and how it affects it and like he gave tips and all sorts of stuff and it was wonderful and two things definitely stood out to me that he said and one was when life's not fair god is still faithful and then two is if god gave you the dream then he will fulfill it and so that was just absolutely marvelous. Uh, but yesterday when I got home, I was having a plant catastrophe, okay? So it rained a lot yesterday. And earlier this week, I was saying to my husband, I need for him to put holes in the bottom of my little uh, flower planter things. So I have another plant that I have on the um, fire escape that you guys haven't seen. It's an aloe, aloe plant. I think I told you about that. Well, it's an aloe plant and I got it when my great-grandmother passed. Um, but in that pot, you know, it has like the holes on the bottom and they say your plants need to get the water out and stuff like that. So I realized mine didn't have holes in the bottom, the new one. So I was telling my husband, oh, well, could you just drill two holes, you know, make two holes for me under the thing and then that would be wonderful for those plants. Well, it rained before he could do that. So when I got home, of course, my poor little plants were like over soaked with water. And so I'm telling my husband, oh my goodness, we're going to get the drill. we got to put the, the holes in there so the water can come out and all sorts of stuff. And so he tries to drill it and doesn't seem like it's working. And then so he puts more force in it to drill it. And of course, you know, it cracked like a crack this big on the bottom of my planter. Now, granted, I was extremely excited because it was letting the water out and I was like, oh, thank God. So you could have saved my plants and then I was like oh lord I'm gonna need to just replace it or something so the tomato one I didn't put a hole in because the other one broke and so I was like I don't want to do that so it's still full of water of which I'll have to show you and the other day I was in Rite Aid and I saw it had a planter like a ledge planter you can put it on your ledge and then I was like oh well I don't have a ledge so I guess I can't put it on my ledge and then I realized I actually do have a ledge so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that I may transplant them and do all sorts of fun stuff but that's what's happening other than that I need to go and get some lunch and then I have to start preparing for the fact that we are leaving tomorrow well technically tomorrow but Wednesday our bus leaves at 1 a.m. tomorrow evening and so or Wednesday early morning <laughs> and so I'm excited about that I absolutely love going to my in-laws house and I absolutely love traveling on the bus and some people don't really feel traveling on the bus but me and my husband happen to love the scenic route of things and we love traveling on the bus we can point things out and I remember what we saw last time and all sorts of craziness so if something is within you know our limit is if something is within eight hours from us like on the bus then we'll go but if it's not then we're gonna take a plane we're not taking mm, mm. If it's 16 hours from here, 24 hours from here on the bus, we're just going to take a plane. But we love going. To totally almost so forgot to show fun. you what I got from Baby's Arrest yesterday. And so you guys know that my rule is that I always want to get something that's gender neutral. Well, for the first time yesterday, I did not get something that was gender neutral. It just stole my heart and I felt like I just had to get them. And so I was trying to get one girl outfit. 
<clears throat> and one boy outfit but I did not see one boy and one girl outfit that I liked in order for it to be one and one so I got two of the same genders are you ready to see these little cute outfits so this is the first one <clears throat> And it says, sweet like mommy with the little watermelon on it. I thought it was so cute. And it had the little ruffles. And it has the little green shorts that goes to it. Then, then you see the little keyhole looking thing in the back. It's so cute with the little shorts. I absolutely loved, loved it. It is in a size three months. And it was on clearance yesterday. Let's see what price it was. Um, $4.98. <laughs> it was on clearance of $4.98, but I absolutely love this. So the next time I go, I guess I gotta get like some boy outfits. This or one. And I believe this one was $4.98 too. It has the same little ruffles, but it says, I'm a cutie from bow to toe. And I was like, oh, that's that so cute. I just have to pick it up with the little polka dot shorts, and it's just, it's just so beautiful. And so I picked them both up because I absolutely love them. Um, this actually is a newborn and this is in three months. And at this rate, if I somehow miraculously get pregnant on the first cycle uh, or official cycle after my miscarriage, then we will have a baby that's due in the end of March or beginning of April. And so, you know, they'll have some good times to wear these cute little summer outfits. I was, I just couldn't, I just could not leave these cute little girls. Look at my poor tomato plant bin. It is over soaked with water. And I believe I could see like one or two of the seeds. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. <gasps> Look what I saw! Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Look what I see. Let me let me zoom in because it's real, 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 really small. Camera focus so the people can see. Let me go back a little bit. Well, anyway, look at do you do you see that? I I don't know how it's possible, but look, y'all, we are growing a garden. Can you imagine that? And then yesterday, let me show you. So I got this all cleared out of the water, but do you notice something different? Yesterday when I showed this to you, I barely saw these plants under the ground and I was showing it to you. And now the two of them have sprouted up. So this is interesting. I'm still planning to more than likely get another planter for this because I need for it to drain out the water. Like if I shake it, like that's not good. So the other thing that I actually have been looking into, actually I'm going to go get something to eat by the way. For the last, I want to say eight months, I've been looking into and studying different things about this particular topic. And I've decided, meaning canning my own fruits and canning my own vegetables, and I had decided this quite a bit ago, um, but I hadn't, you know, decided to do it yet. I wanted to mention I had enough books, and I started enough videos, and I did all sorts of stuff. So I'm excited because once I come back from my trip to my in-laws, that will be my first week officially starting to can. I do have some jars and stuff in the house that I'll show you when I get back. All right, so I'm at Rite Aid, and this is what I found. For some reason, I don't know why I thought it was one-sided, but I won't be able to use that deck reel thing. I'd have to go look back at my house and see if maybe there's a place I can put it on the outside, but um, I can't. And then these ceramic ones I like. I got one for my dad last year, but they don't have anything in a design that I want. I consider the blue one, but I don't know. And then obviously this is way too big, so I don't know. I'll have to um, more than likely go to Home Depot so and back find something. from getting lunch, and I had ended up getting cocoa bread, curry chicken, rice and peas, and, and so here's the curry cabbage. chicken, rice and beans, and then the cabbage and vegetables underneath. And this is a cocoa bread, and I wish you guys had smell a vision because it's from a West Indian restaurant. And some ting, and ting is just a West Indian grapefruit drink, is what I'll call it. It's pretty good. No complaints. And of course, you know, I was going through different places, Rite Aid, food, and stuff. And then I stopped at this children's store, so I had to pick up one thing. So I picked it up, and I will show you that. And so what I've decided is that. I'm going to have a weekly budget for the amount that I spend on baby related things that are not already factored into bigger things than me and my husband plan to buy. I, and the reason for that is because I literally can go into the store and then just pick something up and then pick up another thing and the next thing you know by the end of the week I just have a ridiculous amount of stuff. And so I won't do that. 
So I decided that my weekly amount is going to be $20. $20. Once I get $20, no more spending on any baby stuff. So the two outfits yesterday were $4.98, and so I ended up spending, I think, $9.98, and then this outfit I got today was $4.99. So I had to pick it up. But I did want to show you my little canning jars that I've been storing under this thing for a couple of months. Hopefully you don't see my goods, because it's about some of my clothes. Okay, so. This is underneath that cabinet that you guys see. But these are bags and they are this full tape of jars and we can lick it. Oh, Lord. I don't even know how many I have down there, but I have been getting them together for this. And so they're just jars. I want to say I probably have between like 15 and 20. But these are the size that I have. And so I'm definitely looking forward to cooking and chopping and storing and preserving my own fruits and my own vegetables. And I'm just pumped. And another news, in the babe's uh, little black basket of glory, there's now blueberry and <laughs> apple. And he actually likes these. He likes them. We have a winner. He likes them. No more pop tarts, just these little bars. And so. That makes me much happier because they're 70% organic and they're better for him than the pop tart. So that's good. Oh, okay. And so let me show you the outfit. Oh, here, here it is. Go. It's Carter's. It says my first Christmas and I love it. It is in a size nine months. And you know, I love anything with the little something on the booty. And so it has a little Christmas penguin. And so of course they have them in other sizes. They were, it was on clearance. I'll show you, you know, so we know I'm not spending crazy for night they did have different sizes but you know i try to think in the world of reality so it doesn't make sense for me to buy like a christmas and my first christmas outfit in a size three months because clearly i'm not gonna have a baby <laughs> in the next you know and then time for there to be a december baby to have my first christmas you know and that much time so i got nine months and i feel like that's the perfect time because at this rate again i will have a baby um, or if I get pregnant soon, we'll have a baby sometime in the summer. And so this should be the perfect size by then. I did not find the container that I wanted for my plants. The goal is probably to go to Home Depot tomorrow before I leave for my trip to get something for it to go in. And if that doesn't work, then I probably will have my husband just crack open the thing again and it'll just have to drain that way. And so I do that. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday, June 17th, 2015. We are at a rest stop in Delaware. Um, it is probably about 3.30 in the morning and we in some of Water! Yeah, so the ride has been pretty good so far. I mean, I've pretty much been sleeping because the bus ride started at 1 a.m. But earlier today, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I just walked away from the area where my husband is so I can tell y'all all this good stuff. So I went and did the normal stuff that I needed to do, which was look for the stuff for us. I went to the supermarket, got goodies for the bus, because you don't always know where exactly it is that you're going to stop. This happens in one of the places that we like. This is in Delaware. We've come through here plenty of times on our way to Virginia. Um, I did go to Whole Foods and get a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll be able to do a haul on the bus later on today. I picked up some stuff for my husband for Father's Day, which is really nice. Can't wait to show you that. Um, and so we'll just see how. And so this going. is a very pretty place. It's really big. It's a Starbucks over there, and there's a lot of people online down there by the Burger King. Um, and in the in what is it like the holiday time? They have like a big Christmas tree here, full of poinsettias and. It's really nice, and there's a Popeyes down there. Not that you can see. Let's see. There's a Popeyes over there. Oh, and that's the Burger King and Carvel and some other good stuff. And yes, how old am I? Young girl just enlisted me to buy her some cigarettes. I'm like, what in the world? She's like, Miss, how old are you? Um, why are you asking? Is it possible that you could buy me some cigarettes? What? No, I can't buy you. No, no. I need for you to wait till you're old enough to buy your own cigarettes. I'm not. And crazy me, I don't know how old it is that you have to be to buy cigarettes, but I 
you know, I, my first one that came into my head was, don't you only gotta be like 18 to buy cigarettes? And my husband was saying that they changed it to 21, so. In New York. In, or in New York, well, we're not in New York, so. And even if we were, no, ma'am. And so we're back bus sitting. And <laughs> this is some roses that we have for my mother-in-law. Should be surprised, they're really pretty. I love the yellow with just the little. But really quickly, this is cornbread. And these are little balsamic salads. Or mixed salads, I should say. And then there are two fruit parfaits in here, too. And then there's two different sandwiches. Mine is a tuna sandwich. And the husband's is a pepper jack turkey sandwich. Safely to Virginia to see my in-laws. And so that is good. We've actually been here for several hours. It is now nighttime. Are you gonna see? <laughs> it's nighttime. She loved the flowers. Let me show you. Oh wait, let me put the light on so you can see it better. Okay, here. Aren't they gorgeous? They went through some bumps and bruises on the ride, but she loved them. And they actually match her um, table setting here in the living room. The baby's over there having a late night snack of parfait with granola. I am getting ready to have a salad that we had brought on the bus. The one that you saw like from the little hall. We didn't actually eat a whole lot of it on the bus. We only ate the two sandwiches, so we have a lot of different stuff to partake in. I'm going to combine these two salads. We're going to watch a movie called The Cobbler on Netflix. We just happened to stumble upon it. And it has Adam Sandler in it. It's supposed to be funny. So who knows? Speaking of Netflix, I did not completely finish watching Orange is the New Black. I think I'm on episode, what do you think, six or seven? Uh, uh, six? Yeah, like six. Maybe six. I think I'm on like episode six. So, and that has been quite interesting, some things. So I got the salad in the bowl and I couldn't show you the muffins earlier, but the muffins of the week are lemon raspberry. I'm gonna show you that the last time I brought this palm juice when I was here and I totally forgot it and I was totally excited when I got here and saw it still in the refrigerator because it was never opened and so, you know, Palm juice is good for that TTC. All right, ladies, I will see you next week. Hope you're having a fabulous week, and I will talk to you soon.